There are a lot of elements that go into a cellular amplifier system design. I'll show you what you need to know so you can design a system layout. We'll stick with a simple example for this video, but once you've got the basics down, you can get as complex as you like. To do a system design, you'll need some sort of layout software. A few examples we've seen used are Microsoft Visio, Publisher, or Paint. Anything that will allow you to import a floor plan or a blueprint, and then lay text and images over top will suffice. To begin, you'll need to gather a number of pieces of information at the install site. Get a floor plan or a blueprint of the building. This doesn't need to be a complex layout with lots of data. In fact, the simpler the layout, the better. A fire escape map is often easy to obtain and works just fine. In addition to the floor plan, you'll need to get the details obtained from a site survey. For additional information on conducting a site survey, check out this video. From your site survey, make sure that you get all these important details. Outside signal strength for each block or channel, exterior building dimensions, location for mounting the donor antenna, cable penetration point, interior wall materials, location for installing the amplifier, where cable will be run, available locations for mounting the broadcast antenna, and any other specific details to the building. Once you've gathered the needed information, you can start calculating your expected coverage area for each broadcast antenna based on your signal strength. If you're not sure how to calculate coverage area, then check out this video here to learn more. After you've got your expected coverage area for each antenna calculated, you can determine the placement of each broadcast antenna in the appropriate locations for providing the needed coverage, taking into consideration any restrictions like hallways, vaulted ceilings, building materials, and so on. Using your design tool of choice, lay all of the components out on the floor plan of the building. You may want to consider creating basic images of the components for ease of use. Here's an example of a basic design. Visualizing it in this way helps you ensure you'll be covering everything the customer requires and allows you to work through any bugs you may encounter in the install. It also lets you know of all the equipment you'll need to complete the system, like splitters and other accessories. It's also helpful to create a simple layout, like a flowchart, showing all the components and how they connect to one another. This will help you work through the design and make sure you haven't missed anything. You can also use this chart as a parts list. That's the basics of system design. From here, you can expand and create even the most complex layouts using the same tools and process. Check out one of these for more great videos like this, and please subscribe to our channel for more pro tips like this weekly. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.